This is part three of Revheim Bay. Uh, so far the trail is matching the map and I'm going to emerge on the shore side of this trail and it is such a beautiful view. I have a family member that's an entomologist and I'm going to call her and find out the proper name for these bee-like um, bees that live in the holes in the ground. I think they really like this sandy soil. My first day hiking, I just assumed it was tricking poles, but it's definitely bees. Um, if you want to see me screaming and running a lot, it's uh, Farm Island full of bees. It's kind of like that movie Tommy Boy where he gets out of the car and bees! It was from... <laughs> okay, I found a little bit of information about ground nesting bees. Um, supposedly there are 20,000 different species of bees in the United States, so I'm not going to attempt to identify exactly which bees were on Farm Island and chasing me. But um, I guess they kind of live in solitary homes, like only one bee will go into each hole, and it's usually a female laying her eggs. Um, males do not sting, but females can if they're disturbed. So I suppose having a hiker step on your home is absolutely disturbing, and that's why they were chasing me on Farm Island. Um, on Revheim, their homes are looking kind of like this. They're domed up, and, and there's, there's soil packed around their homes. On Farm Island, they looked like this um, because it was just after a rain. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Oh goodness, must have interrupted somebody's day over there. It's probably my bad. Okay, that's where I just went. That's where I came from. That way. So now, I'm right here at this intersection, and I'm going to go down and walk the rest of the trail. I hope I have enough memory in this thing to capture the whole trail. It's about mid-80s today. Um, not terribly humid either. So, quite a change from my trails down in Pier. Okay.
I don't see a blaze. Look at me learning how to read maps, maybe. I believe this is, well. I sure hope this uh, 1080p format doesn't make the trail look like it's bouncing. Ooh, willow. Yeah. Pheasants like to live in here. I don't know about live in there, but they definitely like to nest in those things. That concludes part three of Revheim Bay. In part four, we will make it down to that shoreline and take in some of these wide open views. I hope you enjoy hiking Revheim Bay.